really appreciate this opportunity to speak today. Uh, I'm from Alderson, West Virginia. I'm a member of Convention of States Action. I always emphasize action because there are other groups that call themselves Convention of States and they tend to spread misinformation about our group and, and about what Convention of States really is. Uh, I brought with me my little blue book here. This is a Convention of States pocket guide, but it really contains everything we need to know about the Convention of States. And um, I never hear anyone speak about these amendments. What would we do? What would we propose at this uh, Convention of States? Well, there's, there's 11 suggestions right here in this little book. And so, uh, some of my favorite, the, the top six are require members of Congress to live under the same laws that they pass for the rest of us. I don't even think, I can't believe we have to ask, to, you know, tell them that. They need to live under this. Uh, the second one, impose term limits on members of Congress because nobody needs to serve for 50 or 60 years. Familiarity breeds contempt, we all know that. Uh, the, the third one, and we're only in on number three, require a balanced federal budget. Well, everyone should have to balance their budget. Uh, the state does, if I'm not mistaken. I know I do, I get in big trouble if I, if I run out of balance. Um, impose limits on federal spending and or taxation. So without imposing limits, if we just put term limits on congressmen and Congre uh, uh, the representatives, well, they just go there and the lobbyists will eat them alive if we don't have spending limits. We need to bring the financial will and, and power back to the people, back to the state. That's where we need to, and that's where that, that amendment would come in. Uh, and the last one, I think this is number six, is Get the federal government out of our health care system. We don't, need, we don't need the federal government telling us we have to take a, man, a, a vaccine. We don't need a mandate. If the vaccine's working, we'd all be getting in line to take it. We wouldn't have to be mandated. Uh, I urge everyone here, everyone in the state of West Virginia support HCR1, and let's get this thing done. Let's have a... Let's have a, a a convention where we can put the power, bring the power back to the people. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything we need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.